People want to know what Jesus is like, so let's show them. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas, and today I want to talk to you about this idea of of letting our light shine. The idea that we should show other people God's love through our words and our actions. The Bible says that you should let your light so shine before men so that they will see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven. There are a lot of people who do not know God, and they want to know what God is like. And to find out what Jesus is like, they they look to people who call themselves Christians. So it's important to know that if you are a Christian, or even if you just call yourself a Christian, you're being watched. You know, this last school year, we got a new soccer coach. And I loved my old soccer coach. He was an awesome guy. He is an awesome guy. He just he just moved away, and he's being a coach for other people now. And when I heard that we were getting a new soccer coach, I was really nervous. Because, like, a lot of the other coaches that I had seen for most of the other teams were, I don't know, they were just really, like, mean and, and grouchy, and they did not seem like very nice people. And I kind of thought that, you know, maybe our coach was the only nice coach out there. So I was pretty sure that we were going to get a mean coach, and I, I was not very excited to meet the new coach. And so school started back up again, and we went back to school, and, and there was a new kid. And it turns out that this new kid was the new coach's son. And I still hadn't met the coach, but I, I hadn't met his son. And he was super nice. His name's Michael. He was pretty quiet at first, but he was still super nice. And it wasn't like he necessarily did anything like big or impressive or anything like that. You know, like he, he had pretty good manners. You know, he would do stuff like open the door for people and and stuff like that. But it was really just it was really just the way he treated people in general that really kind of put me at ease. The way that Michael acted made me not so worried to meet our new coach. It made me not so worried to meet Michael's dad. Because it isn't, you know, it isn't all the time that if someone is nice, that they have nice parents, or if someone is mean, they have parents who are, you know, mean to them. It isn't always the case, but it is often that way. And so because Michael was so nice, instead of me being scared to meet the new coach, instead of me, like, dreading meeting the new coach, I was excited. And I expected that he would be a nice guy. And it turns out he really is. He's, he's, dif- he's different from my old coach. He's, he's not exactly the same, but he is really, really nice. He's a very good coach. He's actually even a little bit nicer than our old coach, to be honest. He tells a lot of pun jokes that aren't that funny, but, but he's a really nice guy. I'm still going to miss my old coach, but I'm really glad to have our new coach. We got a good one for sure. But, you know, like me watching Michael to see how Michael acted is exactly what's happening to us as Christians all the time. Because everybody's kind of got an idea in their head about what God is like. Kind of like I did with the new coach. I had an idea in my head. I was like, he's probably going to be mean. And that might be exactly what people are thinking about God. They might say God is a, you know, hateful, vengeful God who, who wants us all to burn for our sins. And so they might watch Christians to see if they're right about God. Some people might think that God is mean. Some people might think that he's evil. Some people might think that he's weak or that he doesn't exist at all. And every single thing that we do as Christians shows other people what God is like. That's a big responsibility, like really big. And it's an especially big deal because because people know, right? Like deep down inside, they know what's real. And there are a lot of people out there who have either you know, left the faith, you know, they were Christians and now they're not Christians, or people that have never believed in God at all, who have made their decisions based on how Christians have treated them. And the truth is there are a lot of people who call themselves Christians who have never known God. And there are a lot of people who who have believed in Jesus Christ, and so they, they've been saved from their sins, but but they have not walked with God since then. They've taken the name Christian and then walked away from him. Maybe not in name, but certainly in action. And they try to live the, you know, quote unquote Christian life apart from God. And it just, it doesn't work. It's fake. And when people see that, they think God himself is fake. They think there is no God. When we as Christians do not obey God, when we do not love God or love our neighbors as ourselves, it shows and it hurts people. And it makes them believe that God is something that he is not. And so my challenge to you guys today is that you would love. Love God and love your neighbors. It's, a, it's like a simple command, but it's very, very difficult. And you are definitely going to need God's help to do it. And that's kind of the point. 
If you could do it by yourself, that wouldn't say very much about God, would it? That'd say a lot about you. They'd be like, oh yeah, Douglas is a great person. No, I'm not that great of a person. Anything good that I do is because of God, not because of me. And hey, another thing that's important to point out is that if you are trying to love, if you're trying to do what's right, but you mess up, and then you just like spiral out of control saying, oh, God could never love me because I keep messing up over and over and over again. That tells people something about God too, something wrong about God. We do not serve a God who gives up on us. We serve a God who came to earth. He set aside his glory. He came to die for us to make a way for us to be with him. That's how much God loves us. And so if we just, you know, hate ourselves and think that God hates us too, people will pick up on that. So it's important that we are able to to love ourselves too, right? God loves you. You should too. God wants you to love others as you love yourself. Don't put yourself above anyone. But if you hate you, how are you going to love other people? God doesn't hate you. God loves you. And God doesn't hate them. So let's show them God's love. And the truth is when you do what is right, it just feels good. And I will say that there is a danger with that though. And the danger comes with, you know, the fact that it's not just, it doesn't just feel good to do what is right because, you know, God made us to do what is right. But there's this thing inside of us where we really like it when people like us. We really like it when people think that we are awesome. And so there is a tendency to do what is good, to do what is right, to let our light shine, not so that people will glorify God, but so that people will notice us, so that people will think we are awesome. And so there might be times where you need to do what is right, but you need to be careful to be sneaky about it. And we'll talk more about that another time. But for today, the thing that I want you to know is that you are being watched all the time. Even if you don't want to be, you are. If you're a Christian, you're being watched. And it's your responsibility, as it is mine, to show people what God is like. I've heard it said that you may be the only Bible that some people ever read. You know, if you want to know what God is like, looking in the Bible is a great place to start. But the place that most people start is watching people who call themselves Christians. People want to know what God is like. So let's show them with our words and actions. Show your good works. Hey guys, I hope you like this video. And yeah, I I really think this is a very important thing for us to recognize that we are we're being watched and people want to know what God is like and it really is a scary responsibility if I'm being honest, but but it is our responsibility and it's up to us to do what is right to love people the way God loves us so that they can see God's love. We are Jesus hands and feet. So it is our responsibility to show our good works so that when people see them, they will glorify God. They'll know what God is like by the way we love one another.